I want to thank Cardinal Pietro Parolin that is with us and uh, he want to conclude our meeting and maybe give suggestion to follow in this line. Thank you very much, Eminence, for your presence here. Thank you, Monsignor uh, Sanchez Rondo. Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am grateful to be able to address you at the conclusion of this important meeting. Yesterday morning, the Holy Father encouraged you to join forces to ensure the effective protection of the dignity of minors in the digital world. He asked particularly for greater commitment on the part of all involved in the life of civil society the heads of the great technological enterprises of digital communication, computer scientists and economists, media workers, legislators and politicians, educators and religious leaders, and the leaders of international organizations. Pope Francis is convinced that promoting the dignity of minors in the digital world is a global challenge that demands a global response, not only in geographical terms, but also from the standpoint of every stakeholder in accordance with the responsibility and competence of each. From the work of these two days, it has become clear that, in effect, notwithstanding the complexity of the challenges, there is a shared will to pursue the path already begun, passing from words to actions. Alone, none of us can devise a solution to the problem. Co cooperative efforts are necessary, however difficult they may be to achieve. For its part, the Holy See is decisively committed to combat every form of abuse and violence directed against minors and wishes to help ensure that the dignity of each child is effectively safeguarded and promoted, also in the digital world, now and in the future. The Holy Father takes every possible opportunity to foster in the Catholic faithful of the entire world with the aid of the local churches, a deeper awareness of the gravity of sexual abuses against minors, which cried out for vengeance in the sight of God. At the same time, Pope Francis has summoned the entire ecclesial community to engage in an all-out struggle to end every kind of abuse including the new insidious form that they assume in the digital world. This calls for a great effort in the pastoral, educational, and social fields in which the Church is present at various levels throughout the world. Following last February's meeting in the Vatican of presidents of Episcopal conferences and other representatives of the bishops and religious superiors worldwide, initiatives of training and awareness raising have multiplied on the different continents. Here I would mention the work of the Pontifical Commission for the Protection of Minors and the growing competent service provided by the CCP Center for Child Protection of the Gregorian University. Consistent with the directions of the Holy Father, the Holy See wishes to make available every means at his disposal for this noble cause, also through its presence in the international community. The papal representatives, in particular, will not fail to support within the area of their competence, the various initiatives on the national and international levels that seek to promote the dignity of minors in the digital environment. The Holy See can also assist in initiating and facilitating dialogue aimed at fostering that international cooperation of whose need all of us, as has been said, are convinced. This can come about in a number of ways, 
I would point out some that at present appear most urgent and feasible. First, interreligious cooperation aimed at increasing a sense of awareness and responsibility for the sacred dignity of each child as a marvelous and frail creature of God. Second, cooperation between and with leaders of the digital communications industry aimed at developing ways to enable minors to use online digital services in complete safety and dignity. Third, cooperation between scholars, researchers, social workers and security agencies in approaching critical aspects related to the extent and gravity of problems, identifying victims and the way their lives are affected, and devising ways to assist them. Four, cooperation between media workers and opinion makers aimed at increasing public awareness of risks, problems, and possible solutions. All of us are called to act effectively for the benefit of the young who seriously risk becoming victims of abuse as a result of the misuse of the extraordinary new potentialities of the digital world. In this regard, I express my hope that the Child Dignity Alliance formed two years ago following the Rome Congress, which has been co-sponsored this meeting together with the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences and the Interfaith Alliance for Safer Communities, will continue to work towards this goal in cooperation with, with the institutions and organizations that are appropriate, competent, and responsive. I sincerely thank all present for their participation and their attention. I do so also in the name of the Holy Father, who, as you were able to see yesterday morning, deeply appreciates your commitment. May God bless your work. May bless our common commitment. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Minet. So we decide to conclude the meeting. And please, uh, I thank all the participants and all the people that are here, very interested in this. And we can applaud for this. Thank you.